Welcome to a new test drive from Overdrive on the Saudi Auto Channel. The car that we have with us today is the new 2020 Jator X70S. The authorized dealer here in Saudi Arabia is Saeed Mohammed Al Bassami Motors. Jator was launched by Sherry in 2018 as an independent brand. It would be considered the luxury brand of Sherry, like Lexus is to Toyota or how Genesis is the luxury brand for Hyundai. The Jator X70S is a mid seven seater SUV produced and manufactured by Jator. The Jator X70 is available in two models. The first model, the X70, and the second model, the X70S, is the luxury model. And it has a lot more luxury. And that's the car that we have with us today. Now let's talk about the details. And of course, the car comes with two rows of seats or three rows. The quality of materials, production, and equipment available in the X70S is superior to that of some European and Asian companies. The Shangen CS75 competes against the Haval H6, GAC GS5, MGHS, Hyundai Tucson, Kia Sportage, Nissan X-Trail, Toyota RAV4, and Honda CR-V. The dimensions of the X70S are what we always like to say play a big role in the exterior design of the car and the cabin space from inside. The length is 475 centimeters, the width is 191 centimeters, the height is 171 centimeters, and the wheelbase length is 274.5 centimeters, and the vehicle has a ground clearance of 21 centimeters. Jator says it's inspired by the classic design of the Jator family. The grille is drawn in the shape of stars and is visible at night. The design style is inspired by elements of Hui Zhao architecture, such as the Mao Tao wall. LED headlights, which are daytime running lights, also have high beam directional lights. There's also front sensors and a front camera. The front fascia is inlaid with chrome. The top grille extends to the headlights. The grille comes in a honeycomb design and we see chrome on the sides of the bumper and the bottom of the bumper is surrounded by a lower air vent. From the side of the car, the first thing that we notice is the chrome roof rack. Moving down, the windows at the bottom have these chrome inlets on the side that raise up towards the rear. The door handles are made out of chrome and there's also um, a touch entry on the door handle. The side mirrors have integrated turn signals as well as come in the color of the car and at the bottom are black. It also has a camera located at the bottom here. Moving down you have this plastic side skirt which also helps preventing from getting the body of the car dirty. When entering the car you're welcomed by a welcoming message by projector on the ground at night. When moving forward to the front fenders, you can tell that there was a lot of thought in making this car look very sporty and attractive. Provided are 20 inch aluminum wheels with four wheel designs. The rear design of the Jator features a shark fin antenna and a spoiler above the rear glass with brake lights and LED tail lights on the display. We also see the design of the floating roof because the C-pillar is hidden. And we can see the extension of the chrome upwards in the rear pillar, which gives the shape of a floating roof. The car has a rear camera and sensors located in the rear bumper to assist in parking situations. And the rear reflectors under the bumper are integrated with black plastic and a chrome skid plate underneath. Not to mention these chrome exhaust pipes, but the exhaust pipes are not here. These are purely decorative. The trunk door opens electronically by using the door handle or by pressing the trunk lift button inside the cabin or by passing your foot under the bumper like this. The storage space in the rear luggage compartment behind the third row seats is small, but when the third row seats are folded it gives us 1,260 liters and when you fold back the second row seats, it gives us 1,680 liters. The flooring of the trunk can be lifted to reveal two additional storage compartments. Behind that, you have the jack and the tow kit, along with a reflective vest, a first aid kit, 
and an emergency triangle. Below the bumper of the car is the spare tire. On the side of the trunk, you actually have a 12 volt outlet for charging, along with two cup holders and a slot here. We made a quick comparison between the Jatour X70S and its competitors in terms of trunk space, which will now appear in front of you on the screen. The 2020 Jatour X70S engine is a 1.5 liter turbo four cylinder which produces 156 horsepower at 5,500 RPM and 230 Newton meters of torque at 1,750 to 4,000 RPM. The engine's fuel economy is 13.6 kilometers per liter and Sasso gives it an excellent rating. The fuel tank capacity is 55 liters and the fuel quality used is 91. The weight of the car is 2,115 kilograms the engine is matched to a six-speed DCT automatic transmission. We made a quick comparison between the Jatour X70S engine and its competitors in terms of capacity, power and torque, fuel economy, and quality of the fuel used, which will now appear in front of you on the screen. Here we see the difference, spacious and elegant. The materials used are of high quality, leather seats, the driver's seat is electrically adjustable in six positions, the front passenger seat is manually adjustable in four positions, and the front seats are heated. In the front seats, the headroom is 98.9 centimeters, and the shoulders are 147.6 centimeters, and the legroom is about 82.3 centimeters. Let's talk about the infotainment system. There's a 10-inch touch screen, integrated with functions such as radio, Bluetooth media, linking your mobile phone with your screen, or mirroring, a 360 degree panoramic view, electric AC buttons, as well as a 12.3 inch instrument display cluster with 3D design. Additional systems available on the Jetour X70S include keyless entry, push to start ignition, cruise control, trunk opening system, ambient lighting inside the car, 360 degree panoramic parking system, built in driving registration system, wireless cell phone charging, and an eight speaker audio system. Let's check out the rear seats and see what the ride comfort is like. The rear seats are comfortable. The headroom is 99.7 centimeters and the shoulders are 143.5 centimeters. And the legs are about 75.7 centimeters. They provided two air vents and below that two USB ports for the comfort of the second row passengers. And the nice thing about the third row seats is that they are also removable, which is behind us. In the second row, you have this armrest between both passengers that have a cup holder. On the top, you have a handle and a light switch, and there's storage in the doors. One thing I'd like to notice or note also in the rear seats is that it's very comfortable and very luxurious. You have this chrome, this very sleek, nice polished chrome design on the door handles. You have leather materials everywhere. You have a pocket behind the front, uh, the front seats for more storage. And you also have this really cushy mat on the bottom of the floor of the cabin, which makes all of it very, very comfortable place to be. So now that we're inside the car, let's talk about the safety secu and security systems available in the Jatour X70S. Available for the driver and the front passenger are airbags, front, rear, and side airbags. You have an ISOFIX child seat attachment system, tire pressure monitoring system, or TPMS, lane departure warning system, LDWS, anti-lock braking system, ABS, brake force distribution, EBD, and brake assist system, BAS. You also have a traction control system, TCS, Electronic Stability Control, ESP, Blind Spot Warning, Electronic Parking Braking System, EPB, Stabilizer Function, which is automatic or an auto hold. So the colors available for the Jatour X70S are Ice White, Black, Brown, and Volcano Red. Now let's get down to my driving impressions. The Jatour is available with two driving modes. The first is economical and the second is sporty, and it helps the driver choose between the modes that suits the driver the most. 
The front wheel drive system, like what I said before, has many smart systems that make driving on the road quite smart and quiet. Everything is under the driver's control. As for the car's insulation, I would note that it is better than its counterparts in the market in the lack of noise because it has an insulation property of up to 36 decibels. And there's also 70% factory insulation for the rear windows with the trunk and the panorama. The type of tire that's used for this car is the Cylon. The official dealer is Mohammed Yusuf Nahi, and it has a two year warranty or 50,000 kilometers. Only 20 inch wheels are available in this class with rims of that size. For those who close the air conditioning vents, you won't hear any air enter the cabin, which gives you an indication of the calmness inside of the cabin. One of the features I truly appreciate is that when I turn, on, um, turn my indicator on um, and I motion to move in the direction I'm indicating, on the screen, on our touch screen, I get a view of all my, uh, my blind spots as well as a 360 view of the car and its surroundings. Because of the use of high strength steel in the Jatour structure, it has resulted in the car being very, very durable. Thanks to the McPherson front and rear multi-link suspension that absorbs the bumps, we get a very, very comfortable ride. The braking is excellent, especially with the ABS system, and the coefficient of wind handling is very light. It's 0.38. Usually, cars are between 0.28 and 0.4, and medium to large SUVs are usually about 0.54 drag coefficient, which means that this car has a lower fuel economy than the rest. The car's seats are good and soft and are perfect for long distance drives or short drives in the city. The car's torque is 230 Newton meters of torque and the weight is 2,115 kilograms, which is considered to be excellent. Of course, when the car is fully loaded with seven passengers, its weight and torque will vary. The Jatour X70S is priced at 75,444 Saudi Rials, the equivalent to about $20,120 without added value. The warranty is five years or 150,000 kilometers, whichever comes first, and it comes with roadside assistance of about five years and open kilometers. The car also comes with free periodic maintenance along with consumable parts for three years or 60,000 kilometers, whichever comes first. We made a quick comparison between the Jatour X70S and its competitors in terms of price and warranty available from the dealer, which will now appear in front of you on the screen. I hope you enjoyed today's test drive. If you've made it this far in the video, comment Jatour below. That would help us make more of these videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that we can keep making more reviews. For more information, please visit our website, saudiauto.com.sa. And don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, to stay up to date with the latest and greatest from the automotive world. And thank you for your time, and I'll see you in the next video.